The unsettling nature of dolls for some people can be attributed to several psychological factors. First one, uncanny valley. This concept suggests that as artificial beings like dolls become more human-like, they can evoke discomfort or eeriness when they are almost, but not quite, lifelike. This threshold of realism can trigger a sense of unease. Childhood associations. For many, dolls represent childhood innocence. However, if someone has negative experiences or associations related to dolls, such as like scary movies featuring dolls or like something traumatic happened around dolls, these memories can create a lasting fear. Anthropomorphism. That one's a fun word to say. People often attribute human characteristics to inanimate objects. When dolls display features of behaviors that seem lifelike, this can evoke fear, especially if the doll appears to have a will of its own, or if it seems to watch or follow someone. Sometimes you just have dolls with them creepy eyes, and they just like, it just feels like they're following you, and I don't know, it's just creepy cultural influences. Media portrayals of dolls as sinister creatures like in Chucky or Annabelle reinforce fears, embedding ideas of malevolence associated with dolls in popular cultures. Fear of the unknown. Dolls can symbolize the unknown as they often represent childhood and innocence, but can also be associated with darker themes. The duality of their nature can evoke anxiety. Discomfort with stillness. Dolls are often static, and their stillness can be unsettling. This lack of movement can evoke feelings of being watched or a fear that they might suddenly come to life. But then you have several cultures or traditions where dolls are believed to house or represent spirits, which The paranormal in of itself creeps people out. Here are a few examples. In Japanese culture, Hina dolls are displayed during the Hina Matsuri festival. While they are primarily decorative, some believe that these dolls can protect girls and ward off evil spirits. In some African traditions, many African cultures use dolls in spiritual practices. For instance, Some dolls are created for rituals and are believed to be inhabited by spirits or ancestors, serving as a means to connect with the spiritual world. In some Native American cultures, there are certain tribes that create dolls that are used in ceremonies and rituals. These dolls may represent spirits or serve as protective figures for children. Then you have voodoo dolls. Voodoo dolls are sometimes used in rituals to represent individuals. These dolls can be infused with spiritual energy and are thought to connect to the person they represent. Kachina dolls. In Hopi culture, Kachina dolls are carved to represent spirit beings. They are used in ceremonies and are believed to embody the spirits of natural elements and ancestral beings. Now, of course, like I said, You have aspects of the paranormal and the unknown and just creepier related themes. Not saying that these cultures are creepy by any means, but for those that aren't knowledgeable or used to those cultures, foreign concepts like these might trigger a sense of uneasiness. But right now, I feel as though most of the unease is centralized around the media and movie portrayals of haunted dolls and of course more and more creators paranormal figures um they are making haunted dolls more popular and so i don't know it just adds to that creep factor and just showing or having these things become more popular it kind of sits in the back of the minds of individuals and so it makes it seem more prevalent than it really is so i mean that could have to do with it 
So uh, maybe ask yourself, are you afraid of dolls? Do they creep you out? And if so, could it be due to some of the reasons I mentioned? Uh, uh, not gonna lie, personally, ceramic or glass dolls kind of creep me out. But like, it's because their eyes look dead. <laughs> but that's just me. Regular dolls, not so much. But yeah, the ceramic-y, glassy kinds, mm, not a fan. But just remember, if you put enough thought or energy towards a doll or an object, you could inadvertently cause your own thought form haunted doll. 10 out of 10 don't recommend doing it on purpose. But for those who are in, let's say, a toxic home environment, or there's just a lot of negative energy in their space and it may or may not be focused around a specific object, you, yeah, can accidentally have a haunted doll. But again, guys, unless you're doing it on purpose, it's more on the rare side. It's just for those that have an attachment to an object and things are, negative things are going on, it could happen. But again, not trying to invoke fear. I'm just saying it is a potential occurrence that could happen. But yeah, if you cleanse your house regularly, that ain't gonna be a problem. And even if you're one of those people that don't really regularly cleanse your house, you're still gonna be fine for the most part in terms of that aspect of things. Most people aren't going to get a haunted doll from the lack of cleansing their space, especially those that are like more on the less traumatized end or had a regular childhood or less negative things occurred. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to get myself in trouble. But anyway, guys, I don't know. I thought this would be a cool little fun video for you and uh hope to see you soon and thank you for watching and uh anyway peace out